Welcome to the Jake Feinberg Show. Here with one of the baddest cats around. Shane McCarthy, welcome back to the Jake Feinberg Show. What's up, Jake? Thanks for having me. You know, um, where are you at in your... Uh... Yeah. yeah. That's where I'm at. All right. You're all high in the sky. Yeah, man. Do you, uh, where do you feel like you need to grow the most as a as a person or in a player? Uh, as a player, I'd like to... Like, is there an elephant in the room for you, or do you feel comfortable where you're at? I'd like to play less. I think less I'm... Less notes. Uh, yeah, I think I'm spewing ideas, and sometimes I feel like I'm onto something, and sometimes I'm just like... Well, but I mean, like, that, that it's kind of like, uh, how does it work with the... Do, if you, they kind of you self-police like you can go where you want to go and people yeah go. i mean nobody tells anybody what to play or what not to play really um you know it's yeah it's it's open it's free like that. i feel it's like great. though like you know yeah you can put you have a deep pocket but you know like you always want to be a lead player yeah that's a hard thing in baseland it is it is Lesh uh, takes a lot of fucking flack but man that dude was a fucking orchestrator I know, yeah. You I, know, and I, and I, and I, and I, and you know, so tonight, take some chances and go out. You know, I will. Yeah. Especially tonight. What about like in your own, like, are you satisfied with like your, with your evolution as a musician? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you found your, I feel like I can hear your voice in there. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I think, um, you know, especially in the last few years, um, and it's really, I mean, it's come from doing the homework and learning these dead records and just kind of digesting the Phil, the book of Phil. And Hold then, on for a second. Yeah. I want you to break it down because yeah. I don't listen to any studio dead. The minute it comes yeah. out, I'm all, I mean, they, they, there's a there's a new really released uh, 84 West LA Fadeaway, which has yeah. never made the album, but it's sick. No, sure. um, yeah, it's I'll bad. send it. It's fucking insane. Um, yeah. What is it about the studio stuff that you can learn from from Phil? I mean, that's the stuff that, you know, as far as I know, that's Phil saying this is the line. If I could have a perfect my way, you know, as many chances as I can have, this is what I would do. So I do really take, you know, as people shit on Studio Dead or say it's not worth listening to. But like, really, I think that's where they really shine in a different light. You know, it's like their choices that make the record that I think is like really do you spirit. think Phil like are there times in the studio that that he he I, I just remember it was a nightmare as an engineer to try to record them as a band sure. just to get all of them in the room at the <laughs> same time yeah like in a place where they could create yeah um I guess Phil did, did he because he was he's so excitable in the live setting right was he able to contain that and make it like it's tight that's what you get off on yeah is that what you're yeah. saying yeah I'd say so yeah, there's a difference. It's not a huge difference, but it it's maybe a little more reserved, a yeah, little more. Yeah, I dig. You know, a lot of them. Second jet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, and that's what you're sort of striving for at this time. Le yeah. Less noty. Yeah. Still being able to sort of contour it in a way that feels good. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Just more defined, more purpose. Do you? Are you? Uh, do you find yourself? Uh, what are you listening to these days? Oh man, these days. I mean, I. Are I you like, going out to see live music at all? Not, uh, not at the moment. Not where we uh, live. Where I dig. No, I'm saying like you know it was just. <laughs> oh okay. Well, yeah. There's one. No, no, but I mean the like, point is that like when the, when live music was at, on every corner of every block, you know, yeah. in every big city, like Miles would be in there. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, like the, the baddest cats yeah. would be checking out Younger Town. It was a farm system. Oh, for sure. You know, and I yeah. feel like that. That's kind of the mission of my show is like to at least engage in an in a perspective where a, the network can be rebuilt. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if if I could, yeah, I'd go be, please. I'd be seeing. Overhand Sam was a very inspiring show we saw recently. Dude, this um, guy he he already had his interview, yeah, dude. He's, he's, he's chiming in, dude. King Kian. Uh, King <laughs> Kian, dude. Yes, dude. Um, you know you know this band Ton Starts band. I don't know. Uh, continue. It's, tell me. It who, looks like you get off on them, dude. They're so good. Now, tell me why you get off on incredible. them. Incredible. It's two brothers, just guitar, drums. And they have a very just like telepathic, organic, kind of. telepathic 
approach to their live show and uh, their studio record, it, it completely translates to their recent studio record. It's, it's really inspiring. And, and you know, I think Keen and I kind of shoot for that like telepathic way of just like communicating and you're saying it's just guitar writing. and drums. It's just guitar and drums. Yeah, it sounds like the Mats too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Way. And yeah. those cats, they're, they're killers too. Fucking great. Um, but yeah, check out Tom Starts Band. I, you, you have to try to find it. It's a weird Is spell. it possible that the Key and Shane project can mm -hmm. go uh, do an upstate New York run? Oh, it's likely. Uh, yeah. I mean, because I, I would seriously consider flying after that. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, it's happened. We've got a lot in the works. We have a lot of records. Kean's doing his solo stuff. I'm helping out on some other stuff. We have... A lot of music coming, and um, when it's when it's out, you know, we'll be we'll be out there too. Tell the audience, uh, you know, people can be built into pop stars. Michaela chose a different route. Mm -hmm. Who is the real Michaela Davis? Who is the real Michaela Davis? I mean, Davis? you got you guys are like a family. Yeah. You know, and like you've played with her for quite a while. Yeah. So give give the audience an insight on like the character of her. I mean, I think, I think what you see. I mean, you can you, you can say negative, you know. No, I know. <laughs> no, no. The, the Michaela that everybody sees, that's you know, that's it's the, the, it's the real deal. She's, she's the real deal, you know. She's a good friend. She's she's vulnerable. She's she's real, you know. And she's she's a good hang, you know, on and off the stage, you know. It's yeah, we're a family, you know. I don't know. I don't know what more to say about that. But we, we, I'm just know, saying, like you, we love each other. You. Uh, like you're to me I realized that in my journey like I was like this is the most important thing like this is feeding me yeah my soul and like it might my most important things are my my kids but you know there were sacrifices that had to be made mm. and I feel like this you guys are willing like I just was like I don't care I'm just let, let this keep going mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. skunk mm -hmm. Baxter's coming mm -hmm. and Jesse Colin Young is coming and maybe yeah. Herbie will come yeah you just keep going is right. that how you feel about this band? Oh, no question. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we we just work through it all, and we just you know it's it's it's, it's more than the music. Although the music is so inspiring, it's the, the family, the friendship. It's just like it's all intertwined, and it's just there's no there's no stopping it. We just love it. We love each other and the music. You know, we just love doing it. You talked to your folks today? Yeah, I had a great conversation. Great conversation. I, I'm yeah. gonna ask you the same thing. Yeah. Uh, what what are they? Why do they respect you and your brother? Oh man! And I'm gonna say this: yeah. I I don't know them from yeah. on the wall, but I'm gonna say that I don't know if they road dogged it, but you guys are yeah. road dogs. Is that part of the respect? I think so. I mean, I think there's a uh, admiration. Um, you know, we're doing, we're following in our parents' footsteps, especially our dad. You know, he was in the '70s and '80s playing dead tunes. Oh yeah, August but... West, and uh, we're here continuing it you know and getting out seeing seeing some places he didn't get to see you know playing in places and i think he's i think he's just proud that we're uh we're still doing it man you know and we met we met somebody who saw our dad play in seattle he's he, he knew his are you kidding me no yeah a few days ago oh. we were talking about august west he said get out your dad was in august west is mind-blowing yeah. you know i need to do a deeper dive on yeah. that man. yeah man <laughs> all right so my own, when the southern star opens the set uh mm -hmm. Keen will give you the nod right i want you to go out and p p play a nice little little jocko solo tonight okay all right jocko for jake Fiber here in the jake burning a hundred degree desert all right all right, All right. and uh, we'll work on fixing license plates. Yeah. Shane McCarthy, yeah. man, much love to you, brother. Cheers. This is the Jake Fiber Show. See you later.